This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created with any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is complete, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now, let's start up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory. And go! Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. Let's open our browser to the Artifactory homepage. There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, and Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide a license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either a trial or your permanent license. We will skip the proxy configuration, which is used for advanced intranet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which types of repositories we'd like to set up. As a universal repository manager, JFrog Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We'll choose CocoaPods. And done! Artifactory can be used as a local proxy for CocoaPods repositories. It can also host and serve CocoaPods packages, which are actually the JSON file with the package metadata and pointers to its binaries. The setup wizard creates two CocoaPods repositories in Artifactory. A local repository called CocoaPods Local, where you can deploy and serve your own CocoaPods packages. And a remote repository called CocoaPods Remote, which is useful for proxying other CocoaPods repositories. Since the majority of packages are hosted on GitHub, you need to create a remote repository which serves as a caching proxy for GitHub.com. If necessary, you can do the same for Bitbucket.org or any other remote repository you want to access. You can, of course, modify these or create other CocoaPods repositories later on using the repository's administration pages. Let's explore the Shiny user interface. Here you can see the list of repositories that we've just created, including useful information at your fingertips. Now it's time to configure the CocoaPods client to work with Artifactory. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and valuable configuration snippets. It's context-sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. Let's enter the admin password. Now, in order to use Artifactory as the source for CocoaPods packages, we need to install the CocoaPods Art plugin. Let's add Artifactory as a new source for CocoaPods packages using the pod repo art add command. In order to resolve pods in our project, we'll add the following Artifactory plugin definition to our project's pod file. And that's it! Let's run the pod install. The request is being resolved through Artifactory, which returns the dependencies mentioned in the pod file. Here we can see the packages that were cached in the CocoaPods remote cache repository in Artifactory. Let's take a look at the Artifactory logs. Here we can see the actual downloads from GitHub into the cache.
Now it's time to deploy our own pod into Artifactory. A pod is a simple tar.gz file, which contains your project code as well as a pod spec file describing the package metadata. Let's create the pod spec file in our new project. Next, we'll archive the project. To deploy a pod into Artifactory, we'll use the Artifactory REST API, but you can do this also in the UI. Now let's go back to Artifactory. Here we can see our published CocoaPod package in our local CocoaPods repository. Naturally, the metadata files were added as well. This concludes our CocoaPods screencast. Did you know that JFrog Artifactory supports all major package formats, CI servers, and build tools, so you can use it in almost any ecosystem you have set up? If you're not using Artifactory yet, visit the JFrog website to download your free JFrog Artifactory Enterprise Trial today.